Venom has come out and it's a fun, entertaining comic book action movie with an awesome post credit scene where Superman shows up. Well, recently, The Hollywood Reporter has detailed how Black Adam filmed that cameo in secret. And as we already know, apparently, had almost put in a headless Superman body double before they were able to make a deal with Henry Cavill because last month, Walter Hamada, the DC Films president at that time, rejected the idea, so Dwayne The Rock Johnson had to go around him to the new Warner Brother heads and got that cameo filmed. And so Henry Cavill was able to shoot that one little scene in London just last month. And you know, just since Walter Hamada's gone, can we like put Henry Cavill in like every DCE film now? <laughs> That's just my selfish reasoning. But apparently, Dwayne The Rock Johnson may have not been the only one who advocated for the Henry Cavill cameo. In response to this tweet from Jim Lee, Hey DC Nation, I'm here with Dwayne Johnson, congratulating and welcoming him to the DC Universe. As you guys know, the hierarchy of power is definitely going to change. And I am here with the man himself, Jim Lee. I told him he's been so supportive <laughs> of Black Adam all these years. Uh, we love you guys. We thank you. Congrats 1 million on TikTok. And that's going to grow. But thank you. A new era in the DC Universe. We are proudly ushering in. Go Black Adam. Dwayne Johnson says, We're proudly ushering in a new era in the DCEU. Taking a moment to give my friend Jim Lee his flowers for all his support and commitment to Black Adam over the years. And for the record, Jim was a huge advocate for the end scene of our movie. Hashtag fans first. Enjoy the movie. So not only did Walter Amada say no to Dwayne Johnson, he also said no to Jim Lee? Wham. Well, I'm really glad Wally's gone. So let's talk a moment about that end credit scene. Amanda Waller warns Black Adam that he should stay in Kondok, and Kondok will be his prison. And then when Black Adam warns that no one can stop him, and she should send them all, she smirks and calls in her favor to get Superman to arrive. And Harry Cavill as Superman shows up and says that it's been a while since anyone has made the world nervous. And I feel like that's a reference to Man of Steel and even Batman v Superman. Because the years after Man of Steel, people were kind of nervous about Superman. And you can clearly see that in Batman v Superman. The Man of Steel events were the reason why Ben Affleck's Batman was so nervous about Superman. And because this is a grown Superman from Batman v Superman, Superman has learned that maybe he should talk it out with this potential hero. Which gets the audience wondering, is Black Adam vs Superman the next movie? And how quickly are we going to get there? Well, producer Boo Flynn says, don't worry, this one will be fast. According to Hiram Garcia, president of production at Seven Bucks Productions, added to the sentiment, it's not going to take that long. I can promise you that. We always hope the first domino is the easy one. He ultimately added, we'll get cooking on it fast. That's for sure. He also added, we will open up the magic wagon. We'll have the script ready pretty fast. Well, will Black Adam 2 actually have Superman in it? Hiram Garcia says, Our vision is what we really want to establish is Superman exists in the same world as Black Adam. Both those guys exist in the same universe and that's important for us. It's in the universe where our JSA is and so forth. But we really wanted the world to know that these guys are going to cross paths and how we do it, we're still working on it. We don't want to give that away. But I will say that it's much bigger than what people think. And when asked if this is just going to be a straight up Black Adam Superman fight, it's never been about a one-off or just about a fight. No, it's about so much more than that. We really want to craft a long form of storytelling and show that these two characters exist in the same universe and are going to have to deal with each other often, either on the same or opposite sides. Hopefully they're going to clash at some point, but it's not just about a one fight situation. That was never our dream. That does not reward the fans. Fans want to feel a journey between these guys knowing that these guys exist in the same universe. Which to me is kind of similar to what we've seen in the actual Black Adam film. We saw a battle of ideology between Black Adam and Hawkman. Hawkman believes in justice, but he believes that heroes should not kill people. Black Adam, however, sees justice in a different light. He wants to be able to murder these guys because they deserve it. And with that ideology clashing, they do fight each other. 
But by the end of the film, they've come together to fight for a common cause, to protect Kondok. So I can certainly see a similar situation for Black Adam and Superman, where Black Adam does leave Kondok and needs to be stopped by Superman, or it's another fish-out-of-water situation where Superman will have to teach Black Adam the ways of how heroes need to act in the modern world. And I'm wondering if the conflict comes down to where Black Adam finds out that Superman has killed Zod in Man of Steel. And I really hope they bring back that General Zod line from Man of Steel, where, yes, Superman tells Black Adam that he does regret killing Zod. But Black Adam will call him a hypocrite, and something big needs to happen where Black Adam is enraged and will take matter in his own hands. And that's when Superman will have to fight him. Whatever may be the case for the Black Adam sequel, I'm pretty confident that Henry Cavill is going to be back fully as Superman. I bet he's going to have his own solo movie. I bet he's going to be in the Black Adam movie and possible cameos in other films as well. It's just great to see Henry Cavill back as Superman. But I'm also looking forward to seeing Black Adam go out into the real modern world and what is he going to do out there? All right, what do you think about the producers saying they are ready to go on a Black Adam sequel? Are you also looking forward to more Henry Cavill Superman? Share your thoughts in the comments down below.